All right, Caleb, come on. Birthday boy, let's open your gift. Hey everyone, uh, welcome to the chaos. So Caleb's birthday is this weekend. His birthday is actually on Sunday, but we're having his party with all of his classmates and everyone on Saturday. So right now we're just getting ready for it. Today was just all about like getting the house ready, getting everything cleaned up, getting everything put away. So that way tomorrow we can have more fun with like the decorating and putting the goodie bags together and all that stuff. But as of right now, I have got everything on my checklist that I wanted to have completed at this time done, I think. I think I mentioned in the last video, we are getting a water slide. Uh, those people actually called me today to confirm, so they're gonna be here Saturday morning for setup. Uh, we've already ordered the food. We are having it catered from Portillo's, which I think is fantastic. I love Portillo's, and I will be honest, Steve kind of rolled his eyes when I told him I was doing Portillo's again, because we've actually done Portillo's for Caleb's birthday every single year. But this is only like the second time we've had like a school birthday with all of his classmates, so, it's still new to them. I always just feel like everybody always does like pizza or like here in Arizona, the Sombrero's party platter. I feel like nobody really does Portillo's for a kid's birthday party. And last year it was a big hit. So I figure, you know, why mess with success? That is ordered. And I've also confirmed with Party City, we've got a balloon order and, oh my gosh, you guys, the cookie lady, the cookie lady that I've been using for like the past four years. Uh, she is doing Caleb's cookies again this year. I pick them up tomorrow morning. She already sent me a picture. They look so good. So I'm very, very excited. The theme this year is kind of all over the place. We've already done Spidey and his amazing friends, but this year Caleb wanted to have a Hulk party, like the Incredible Hulk. So we're just focusing on the Hulk and that's what we're doing. But on top of all that, on top of everything to get ready for the party on Saturday, Tomorrow is Friday and we are doing something special for Caleb's class. We're gonna put together these little goodie bags. And so I think we're gonna do that right now. So yeah, as I mentioned, Caleb and I just got back from, oh, this needs to go in the fridge, hello. All right, so now that's in the fridge. Um, uh, yeah, Caleb and I went to Target. We got a bunch of stuff. So yeah, we got some. So I figure one thing that would be really nice to have outside is like an abundance of sunscreen since we are here in Arizona and it's gonna be really hot. And we don't have the best of shade in our backyard. So we've got some, we're gonna offer our guests some sunscreen. We've got some Capri Suns in here for the kids. Uh, this is for tomorrow's school snack because I don't want to like make a bag for the teacher, you know. I don't want to unleash a bunch of candy and craziness on, uh, you know, Caleb's teacher. So we're just going to do these uh, little goldfish snacks and we got some other things that I'll show you. I'm doing something different this year. Usually I would just go and get a big bag of Doritos or something, put them in a bowl and call it a day. But um, our friend of ours did a party where they actually did these and I like how it worked because then everybody, first of all, you get a little bit more of a selection and then everybody, you know, you don't have to worry about everybody's hand going into the bowl. Everybody just gets their own. It's perfect. Caleb has been wanting these for literally like eight months now. So, so we're going to do some bunch of balloons. And then I think the rest of this is just like party, uh, like party favor stuff, which so let's get started on that. And we got more stuff in here. So um, Caleb and I went to Party City as well. And so we got some tablecloths. I figured green and purple would be perfect for the Hulk, right? So we got that and then we got some napkins. Now here's the deal when it comes to, I guess I'll, sh you know what? I'll just keep going with the birthday party. We'll keep this sort of organized. So for the birthday party, Steve found these on Amazon. They're like incredible Hulk. Um, like, you know, it's like a party set. There's plates, a tablecloth and some cups. I don't think there's like enough in here, but I thought this was super cute. He got these little boxes. They kind of look like um, Happy Meal boxes, but this is what we're gonna make for like the goodie bags for the party favors to give to everyone who's coming to the party. Um, I think, I don't know what this is. I think Steve, I think it's one of those things that you just hang in a doorway so people can like go through it. Just adds a little bit of sparkle and shimmer, a little bit of fun. I thought this was excessive. These are water bottle labels. I didn't even, like I, Steve just ordered all this stuff. He took his own initiative and I was like, oh, okay. I guess we're gonna individually wrap all of our water bottles. And then this is like an incredible Hulk, like something you put on the front door so everybody knows you know, where the party is. I have to admit, I am very glad that Steve took initiative on this because it's one less thing for me to do. And you know what? He actually picked some really cute things that I don't think I would have gotten. 
So, but that's the stuff for Caleb's birthday party on Saturday. And I'm sure we're gonna get more as we go on. But this stuff is something I'm gonna put together for Caleb's classroom. What I'm gonna do is I'm, I've got these like clear cellophane bags. And I figured since it's in the classroom and you know, his teacher's gonna have to live with this, let's not load the kids up with sugar and a bunch of junk and like whistles and stuff. So each kid instead will get um, one of these little notepads. We found these notepads at Party City. And then each kid will get a pencil and it's got like a little eraser on it. And then a little uh, pencil sharpener. I thought that was perfect, right? Very academic, very studious for the kids at school, but nothing too disruptive. So each kid will get one of these, or you know, three of these three things, and then a little bag of goldfish. And I have to admit, part of me wants to show off my laundry room because it's not piled up with laundry. I actually got through everything. But right now what I'm doing is I'm laundering all the, um, you know, the cushion coverings for our patio furniture outside. It was looking a little, uh, it was looking a little dirty and we've had some, you know, mo it's monsoon season here. So I just wanted to kind of clean these up, give these a refresh because, you know, everybody's going to be coming here and going right outside for the water slide. So we're just trying to make, you know, a nice little inviting environment for the parents. Cause you know, the kids are just gonna, they're gonna slather on that sunscreen, put on their swimsuits and they're gonna be out in that slide just having fun. But the parents gotta kind of sit back, relax, talk with one another. So we wanna make it an enjoyable experience for everyone. But yeah, so I'm just trying to get this place in order, trying to get it all nice and organized so we can decorate and have fun tomorrow. Um, the other thing is like, I totally forgot, Steve and I are going to a movie. It's kind of random in the middle of the day, but um, Alien Romulus comes out tonight. I'm a huge Alien fan. Um, I would have loved to have gone tonight to see it, you know, for opening night, but the only time that would work for us would be if I went at nine o'clock at night and I'm not doing that. But uh, Steve is on work travel right now, but he's actually, he's probably gonna be landing here in just a few minutes. So he'll be home in time for dinner. Um, but yeah, we're gonna just kind of finish up, have our usual night. And uh, tomorrow I'm gonna get up and get uh, going on stuff. And then we're gonna take a quick little break to go see Alien Romulus. And then we'll be back to party mode. Okay, so it is a good deal later. Let me see, the night kind of got away from us, but let me see if I can, s oh, there he is. Oh, he's very upset. All right, I won't film him, he's upset. We have asked Caleb to help out a little bit, do some chores. Steve is home, he's been home for a little bit and he went outside to the backyard. While he was gone, Caleb's task, Caleb's little chore was supposed to be to pick up Skylar's poop in the backyard and he didn't do it. And I have to admit, I kind of failed on it too because I didn't like push him to do it. I didn't remind him throughout the week. So now he's got to do it. Of course, now he doesn't want to do it. Um, <laughs> we're trying to instill good values into him, trying to get him to do chores, you know. He kind of threw a fit. He's like, I don't want to do this right now. And I'm like, well, I don't want to clean the house and do laundry, but we got to do it. So anyways, so he is outside. <laughs> Steve is going to probably have to try and get him to pick up more dog poop. But anyways, look what I'm doing. <laughs> I am making Caleb's bags. I thought Caleb was going to help me, but he said he didn't want to do that either. Um, but yeah, so here is the finished bag. You can see we got a little bag of goldfish in there. Each kid will get their pencil and eraser, notepad, and a uh, pencil sharpener. I think it's a cute little gift. I would have loved something like this when I was a kid. All right, these are all done, all set and ready. I was so excited how resourceful I was. This is a tray that came with our meal kit. <laughs> it works perfectly. It's got little handles on it so Caleb can carry it into class. It's perfect. Okay, so those are all done and it's actually starting to get a little bit later. <laughs> and Caleb's gonna be going to bed here in a minute. I am exhausted. Steve just got home, as I mentioned. Well, I mean, he's been home for a bit now, but he's exhausted. So I think we're now just going to order some dinner in, relax on the couch, and we'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. So yeah, it is the next day and it's about 9.20 in the morning. I got up pretty early this morning. Um, you know, it was a regular school day, so we did our usual routine, got Caleb off to school, but I wanted to zip home and start getting all of like the outside work we needed done, you know, early on before it gets really hot. Plus we have the movie this afternoon. But this morning I was cleaning out our patio, but when I moved everything out of the way, I realized our rug looked a little, you know, I'm not gonna lie, Miss Skyler, you know, she kind of used her potty training time on that thing. So I was like, I think it's time for a new rug. Tomorrow is gonna be a day where all the parents are gonna be wanting, they're gonna wanna be outside. You know, they're gonna wanna watch their kids on the water slide. 
and like I said, it's gonna be hot. So I just wanna make our space as relaxing and as comfortable as I can. So if I can clean up our patio furniture, maybe get a new rug, we're gonna push an ice bucket out there with lots of drinks and everything for the kids and um, the adults. I just wanna make it a nice space. So that's what I'm working on this morning. So I'm gonna run into Lowe's real quick and see if I can find us a new rug. Oh wow, here at Lowe's, they've got all the Halloween stuff. We were here a couple weekends ago and they only had this guy open, but now they've got everything. And it looks like there's a ton of Haunted Mansion stuff this year. Okay, this is really cool. See that Haunted Mansion? It's like a pillar and it looks like it's a lamp. It almost looks like that. Do you see that? We've got the classic Haunted Mansion sign there and it's only 129. I wonder what it's made of. And then this guy is super cool. That is awesome. I don't see a pro, yeah, here it is. He's $300. But then I was looking at the sign here. It looks like you can get an animated caretaker and then check out all these other characters. Oh, I think I see her. She's right there. Okay. That's so cool. Now we already got this. We got this last year. But yeah, lots of cool Haunted Mansion. Oh, it looks like he's, this is the pillar right here. Haunted Mansion column yard decor it's $129 and they've got two in stock okay I didn't even realize they actually do stuff I push the button dude singing that is so cool and then this is actually kind of like a soft material it's just got like a structure here probably like a, a plastic structure and then it's just like a soft material that goes around that I already sent a picture to see if he wants both of these Okay, I'm gonna get it. Steve said to get it. Um, but look, it even has a projection spotlight is included. So that is too cool. It doesn't look like they have the Headless Knight in stock. So that'll be something we'll just keep our eye on. But Steve does want it. So we'll have to come back. Okay, summertime is officially over. So our options are very, very limited when it comes to an outdoor rug. But, oh, this one's kind of wild oh they don't have our size i'm looking for like an eight by ten it looks like most of what they have in stock is a five by seven but i saw this one this one looks pretty cool i think that'll be a nice contrast to kind of our like reddish chairs and it looks like an eight by ten is 198 and they have it in stock that might be worth looking into the other option is this one here oh wow it's much cheaper it's like half the price of course, I kind of like this one though better because it's got more of like that ocean look. Oh yeah, it's actually called Aqua Wave. And that was our out our outdoor patio. We've always thought it was going to be kind of like tiki inspired. So this one's called Blue Diamond. I think, I mean, the colors are kind of similar, but this one's so much cheaper. Oh yeah, those are our only two options we have when it comes to an eight by 10. Decisions, decisions. Okay, I think I made my decision. I'm gonna go with this one because it looks like this one, because it's powered with Stain Master. It's hose washable, three year warranty, high traffic, and it doesn't have any of that here. Oh yeah, it's got the high traffic, but I like that you can just wash this one with the hose. I think I'm gonna go with this one. All right, successful little shopping trip. We got our rug, I got the Haunted Mansion sign for Halloween, and I also picked up this little pillow I thought looked cute. Miss Schuyler has uh, chewed up some of ours, so I needed a replacement. All right, we are back home. This looks great. I really like it. I hope it shows up on camera well, but it's a nice contrast. So I don't know if you saw it, but the original rug we had here was beige and gray. So it kind of like, just like kind of got lost in, in the pavement, you know? Um, this actually looks really nice and it does look a little tropical. I'm cleaning off these pieces right now. This one still needs to go through the wash, but as you can see, it's kind of got like a nice red to it. I think it'll look, it'll pop. I think it's gonna look really, really nice. But also last year, I think it was last year, Steve installed these screens that can come down, which is really nice. And then you can't really see it. Can you see them? We got misters installed a couple of years ago. So I think when we get this all dressed and ready, it's gonna be really, really nice. All right, I think this looks, I like this setup. Um, right here, we're gonna put our little cooler here. This, this thing broke, but um, I think that's good. This is all I'm gonna do for now because I feel like if I put all the cushions on, little Miss Skylar's gonna get on it while we're gone at the movie. So, you know, let's just keep her off that for now. Okay, so I apologize, I'm still on my iPhone just cause I can't find the camera and I'm like rushing around. 
but um, I have gotten ready. I am going to run and pick up the cookies right now. And then I have like literally just enough time to drive all the way back home, put them in here because I don't want them sitting in my car melting away. And then we're gonna go to the movie. And I'll be honest with you, I am not upset about this at all. I think, you know, with as much running around and as much craziness as we've been doing to get ready for this party, I think it's important to take some time for yourself. I am, I cannot wait for this movie. I've been waiting for this movie for like two years. I would have gone last night because I, I just can't wait any longer. Last night was opening night. I'm seeing it at our local Harkins in the Santan Valley because I'm going to see it at the big Cine XL. So it's like, if it's not the biggest screen in Arizona, it's like one of the biggest and they have like huge like Dolby Atmos sound. And I'm like, I, I wanna see it the right way. I'm very excited, but I gotta get going to pick up those cookies. Okay, so I am back with the cookies. I have a little bit of time before we have to leave for the movie. So I'm gonna show you how cute these turned out. I love the way they're packaged. Oh, I gotta adjust them, but oh my gosh. Check it out. So we got two dozen cookies, but we and we got six designs, but check them out. How awesome are these? Sorry for the glare. They're each they're all individually wrapped. These make just such great little party favors. I like to I arrange them on a platter at the start of the party so everybody can see them and then the kids at the end of the party, they each get to pick whichever one they want and take them home in their goodie bag. Look, this one says Caleb on it. Oh gosh, she just does the best job. This is our fourth year using um, this woman. It's just, I, I'm always just blown away. I just cannot sing this woman's praises enough. Always, it just, it, the cookies just always look so incredible. This is our fourth year using her. Um, I think the very first one she did was were the Blippi cookies. Then we did Spidey and His Amazing Friends. Last year was Nintendo Legend of Zelda. And so now we've got Hulk. It's just, it's always incredible. So if you are looking for someone to make cookies and you're in the Phoenix area, I can't recommend this woman enough. Her name is Denise. She goes by Flower Fairy Cookies. Highly recommend. And you know what? Not only do they look really cute, but the cookies taste very good. I like the recipe she uses a lot. Okay, so we are back home and I have to admit, I almost forgot to vlog this. We started getting things going. Um, picked up, so by the way, the movie was fantastic. Highly recommend it. We had a good time. Nice little break in the day. Uh, but after that, we came and picked up Caleb. We ran by our storage unit to get like the party bucket and Steve finished up some work. And so now we are, we're getting ready. I have already started working on some of the desserts. I'm gonna be making chocolate cupcakes with chocolate frosting for like all the kids. And then Caleb wanted a cake to have like the candles on so we could blow it out. So I'm gonna make a yellow cake with chocolate frosting as well. Steve is over here working on some stuff. So we're a little bit extra, but we got some because the whole, oh, she's destroying things. <laughs> Great. Uh, <clears throat> so we are a little bit extra. So it is a Hulk themed party. Right. He has an issue with saying Hook versus Hulk, but we're working <laughs> on that. Um, but we're very extra, so we're putting water bottle labels on. <laughs> so as you can see, this is what it's going to look like yeah, zoom for, on that. for the water bottle. It's, oh, we got a little bit of glare here for the light. There we go. We That's pretty cool. One. So yeah, a little bit of extra theming for everything. Should be fun. <laughs> so I've already finished my chocolate frosting. I didn't vlog it because like I said, I totally just completely forgot. So, but that's done. All right. And birthday boy gets to try the frosting out. <laughs> Pretty good. Pretty good? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. Try not to make a mess, but you can lick that up. Okay. Okay. I'll clean it up. Perfect. Thank you. Preparing more for the party. So my job now is to prepare the party favors um, package. So I'm gonna show you what we're gonna give out. So we're gonna fill this up with a bunch of fun things here. So Caleb was all about doing some fun um, <laughs> party favors. We got slap bands, we got tattoos, we got stickers, we have whistles, we have uh, noisemakers, we have uh, pinwheels that are gonna fly out through the air. So in general, I think we have a good assortment of fun things for people to enjoy. Caleb's party, right? Yeah. And can I tell you something, guys? Sure. Like, these are the kinds that don't make any noise. Okay. But it's okay. It, look at some little slap bands and then some fat ones. Yeah. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. 
Yeah. yeah. And some whistles people can have, like, like all of these kind. Should be but pretty fun. To, but you have to blow in it harder. Yeah. Do you think everybody's going to like them? Yeah. Good. Plus, I have some. Oh, you have some water balloons. Yep, I do. Yes, you do. And I think we are ready. So we've got all the little party favors set up. I'm not gonna do the table until tomorrow just because I'm really, really tired right now and I'm actually still working in the kitchen. But uh, we're gonna put these platters that, well, we got some tablecloths. We got some platters that we're gonna put like the cookies on and stuff. I'm, I'm gonna use my little Halloween display, my little Halloween, uh, what do you call this? Like a cake stand uh, for the water bottles. That works perfectly, looks pretty cool. I got the last batch of cupcakes out of the oven. These ones are over here cooling off and then I've got my frosting ready to go. So I'm gonna frost the cupcakes and then just keep them in a sealed container, throw them in the fridge for the night. So those will be done and ready. But it is time for night night. So tomorrow when we wake up, we're gonna have a fun party. I know, it's a whole birthday weekend. That's right, it's gonna be party time. <laughs> oh, and then real quick, oh, by the way, this is the little, I, I love this thing. We got this at Lowe's, um, but as you can see, we've already got it filled up. Um, we're just gonna throw the ice in tomorrow, but it's, got, it's on wheels. It's even got like, if you're gonna put like, I don't know, like bottles of like beer in here, I guess, it's got the little thing. I can't talk, sorry guys, <laughs> the can opener, the bottle popper, whatever, and then they just like fall in here. <laughs> I thought this was a really pretty clever little piece. And then, yeah, we've got a, these are gonna go outside tomorrow. So we're gonna have extra sunscreen. We've got the bunch of balloons. You've already seen that. I've got the chips ready to go. I think I'm gonna put these outside as well. It's getting kind of dark out here right now, but um, I've got the seating already. I've got one pillow there. I gotta get the other two. They're in uh, plastic bags in the bin in the garage. So I gotta get those. But we got the nice rug out there. So we got a nice little seating area. And yeah, like I said, we're gonna probably drop the shades a little bit. We're gonna have the misters going. We've got, we do have to remove this light tomorrow, but we got Caleb's um, playground moved so the guys can come here. They're coming right at 10 a.m. to install the water slide. And then I think we're ready. But yeah, like Steve said, we're really tired. <laughs> it has been a long day. Uh, plus, you know, when you're outside for a long time, that sun really saps your energy. And I was out there cleaning that patio off this morning, and then we were running around all day, and then I was just out there just recently, right before I started baking the cupcakes, to get those cushions back on and everything. So, oh, I'm a little exhausted. It's not even that late, really, but um, yeah, I think I, I do have to make um, one more thing of frosting, but that won't take long. Frosting's like super easy for me, um, but I think after that, I'm gonna just hang out on the couch, relax, and chill out. Good morning. All right, so today is the big day. I woke up early. I've been up for about um, 20 minutes. It's about six o'clock right now. Um, just kind of cleaned up a little bit, got my ingredients out. I am gonna start working on the yellow butter cake. I just pulled out the buttermilk, the butter, and the eggs so they can kind of come to room temperature. So I'm gonna let them sit for about 30 minutes. So while I wait for that, I'm actually gonna run to the grocery store right now because they just opened. I'm gonna go get some ice. I'm gonna fill up our ice bin. We're gonna get the day rocking and rolling. Okay, I am shocked. It is 7 a.m. right now and Caleb is still asleep. So now he did go to bed on time yesterday, but he did have kind of a busy day with everything going on at school and it was his birthday celebration. So um, I'm actually really shocked he's still asleep. He's usually up around like 6.30. So I get, I, I'm glad though, cause this just means he's gonna be nice and well rested for his party today. It'll be great. So I got the cake finished. It is in the oven baking right now. It smells so good. So now I'm trying to figure out what I need to do next. In case you were wondering which cake I'm making, I'm making the yellow bu uh, butter cake with easy chocolate buttercream from the Martha Stewart cooking school book. It is so delicious. It's my go-to when it comes to yellow cake. Um, so we got that, like I said, we got that in the oven and then I've already, I made the frosting for it last night and I just kept it at room temperature with some plastic wrap over it. So it's just ready to go. Well, good morning. Look who's awake. And you know it's my party today. It is your party today. <laughs> Look at that bedhead, man. <laughs> I have enough energy. Good. And too, why? I'm going to do 
too wild. You're gonna be too wild? Well, I think we can make that work today. Check it out, these cakes are done. They look so, they smell so good. So got a lot of bubbling up on top and they're a little overdone here, but um, you know, obviously we're just gonna cut off the top to make them flat and then I'll just frost this real quick. By the way, in case you were curious to know, like Mike, why didn't you just make the cake like the day before? Here's the deal. So uh, as you saw, I made the cupcakes last night. So those are done. Don't need to do a thing with those. I just have to put them out. With this yellow butter cake, it dries out so fast. It, like I said, it's my hands down go-to recipe because it tastes so good, but like literally just one day later and it dries out crazy. I think it's just because it is butter. It doesn't have any like shortening or, or oil in it, um, but the butter just adds that just rich flavor. It's so good, but you gotta, you gotta enjoy it the day it's made. So I figure we're doing pretty good because it's still kind of cooling off and we've got like at least four more hours. So we're gonna eat it like at its peak freshness, so it should be excellent. But as you can see, I've got the tablescape ready to go. It's a tablescape. I don't think anyone's really gonna sit here because like, I mean, maybe the adults will, I don't know. I think most people are gonna be grabbing their food and going outside. The slide is not here, as you can see. It's only 8.30. I feel like we're really on top of it. But um, all I have to do is just put the cupcakes on here. I'm gonna put the cake right there. As you can see, we've got Caleb's cookies here. We've got uh, the water bottles that Steve did right here. And then this we're gonna put up at the absolute last minute because I think Skylar and Caleb would tear it. It's gonna be destroyed in minutes. But this is gonna go in the doorway right here. Just adds a little bit of a shimmer effect that people can walk through. It'll be really cute. But yeah, it's only 8.27 and we're like, we're good to go. I'm feeling really good about this. So I think I'm gonna jump in the shower and get ready. I gotta run to Party City to pick up the balloons. Those are gonna be ready at 9 a.m. We pick up the food at 10.30. Party starts at 11. Oh, the big moment has arrived. The slide is going in. What do you think, bud? Good. Good. <laughs> this oh, thing's gonna take up our is... entire backyard. <laughs> what? But this is the same slide we had last year, so we know it fits. It was fun, huh, bud? What you said? I said this is the same slide we had last year for your party. No, no, like how, like how, like Oh, it takes up almost the entire backyard. <laughs> but we've got our Roomba going, just doing that last little bit, but I think for the most part, we are ready to go. If we go through here, you can see I picked up the balloons. By the way, this was a hassle, getting it into my car all by myself, but I made it. My cake turned out cute. Got the cupcakes in place. We're ready to party. And we are ready to go. So we got a fruit platter, we got a veggie platter, we got our Partillo's order. Steve is going nuts with the condiments over here. <laughs> we got a big box of french fries. I'm not sure, I'm not sure how fresh they're gonna be in a little bit, but we got some chili if you wanna make a chili dog. I think this looks great. It was great. The party was a huge success. Now, I didn't record a ton of it because we had a lot of other kids running around here and it was actually even hard to get just little bits of footage of just Caleb by himself so I wouldn't have to worry about posting this on our channel. But take it from me, he had an absolute blast and he never stopped. The moment we went out there to do water slide, he did not stop until the guys came at four o'clock to tear it down. <laughs> As you can see, we didn't even get to go inside to do the birthday cake, which made lighting that candle very difficult. But he just, you know, he came out, blew that candle out and went right back up that slide. He was just all about it. He had a blast. And here it is, folks, <laughs> the next day, the hangover from the birthday extravaganza. Happy birthday, Mr. Seven-year-old. <laughs> what are you eating? Cinnamon toast. Cinnamon toast. So he got to have whatever he wanted for breakfast. You guys, what, what did you have first? What did you want? Um, Rice Krispies. <laughs> he wanted Rice Krispies with strawberries, like the picture. You guys, I offered to make him anything. I even said I would run to the store. I would run to McDonald's, whatever. He wanted Rice Krispies. <laughs> but dad made you cinnamon toast, and that's pretty cool, right? He even got me this. Oh, he even gave you extra? That is awesome. Hey, how does it feel being seven? Good. Good? Do you feel taller? I, I feel like it. <laughs> you feel stronger. taller? Do you feel stronger? Yeah. Awesome. Cool. Well, we're gonna have a fun day today. 
Yes, we are going to have a fun day, but of course I, I'm kind of freaking out right now because the house is a complete mess right now. And it's like, I just, I just want to like run our Roomba and mop the floor real quick. The floor is so scuzzy right now, but all in good time. Um, yeah, we just kind of woke up. We're having a chill morning. Caleb got to play with his balloon. He really wanted to like get those balloons down and have some fun with it. So we let him do that. But yes, today is his actual birthday. This morning at around 4.30 in the morning, he turned seven years old. So I offered to make him whatever he wanted for breakfast. He wanted Rice Krispies, so here we are. Um, I don't know what we're gonna do today. We're leaving it up to him. I told him this, my story when it was my actual birthday. I got to pick out breakfast, lunch, and dinner. We got to maybe go see a movie, do whatever you wanna do. Right now, it might be pool day. I don't know. He did express some interest in going over to the pool. We'll see. But um, I think what we're gonna do is, after he eats his breakfast, I'm gonna just gonna try and spruce up the house just a little bit, and then we're gonna open some gifts, and then we've got a big gift for him from dad and daddy. Okay, so it is a little bit later. I don't even know what time it is. When I don't wear my watch, you guys, I have no idea, I have no idea what time it is throughout the day. It is about 9.45, it looks like. Um, so we've just been having a chill morning. We have all cleaned up. We even got little man to pitch in a little bit, which is great. Get the Roomba going. So the house is starting to look nice and refreshed again. Um, I think it's time to do Caleb's big gift from dad and I, and I wanted to preface it real quick because it's, you guys are going to be like, oh my gosh. But here's the story with this. Steve, um, at his old job, before he left his old job, they had this like system where you like got so many points for how many years you were with the company or whatever. And so he wanted to cash them in before he left and there wasn't anything he could find that he wanted, right? They had like headphones and stuff, but he was like, I've already got a really good pair of headphones, blah, blah, blah. And so he shows me one day, he's like, what if we got this for Caleb and we could just save it for a birthday or something? And I was like, wow, okay, <laughs> you're gonna be setting that expectation. But um, he's just been such a great kid. He, Caleb's just incredible. And you know, his hobbies are strange. They're unusual. They, everybody who knows about it gets a kick out of it. Everybody at school knows. He just, you know, he loves the things that he loves. And so we decided to go for it. And so we've been holding on to this for quite a few months. And today's the day we're gonna get it. We're gonna give it to him. But yeah, so under normal circumstances, we probably wouldn't spend this much money on something like this for him. But because it was something that Kate, Steve just had points for, we're gonna go for it. So, but our good friends found wrapping paper that had Roombas on it. And he just thought it was the best thing ever. They got him a Roomba t-shirt, which he is so excited to wear to school tomorrow. Where's the t-shirt? Right there. Oh, the Roomba t-shirt. What does it's it say? Roomba, it's a Roomba. Robot vacuum enthusiast? Oh my yeah. gosh. Can you say thank you, Jackson and Tatum? Thank you, Jackson and Tatum. <laughs> <laughs> Like this kid, like I said, he's just something else. So, but I think it's time to go open his gift. All right. So let's start with the bag first, okay? Okay, let me move this off. Did you get this? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> we reused the bag. <laughs> Why? Well, because you know, you don't want to waste it, right? Oh. <gasps> That's, oh, what's man. that? That is a, <laughs> wait, what did I forget? Is this? Wait, Wonder, Wonder, Wonder Ball. Wonder Ball? And it has, that makes it do it, and this is a propellers make it fly. Oh, okay. You've been you've been eyeing this for a long time at Target. Are you excited? Yeah. I want to use it. I want to do it. I want to do it. Well, you want to open up your next present? Okay, here's, you've got one more. Okay. This is the big gift from Dad and I. Okay. I better be something. Oh, yeah. It better be a toy. But, okay. Oh, <gasps> I know. Uh -huh. Two iRobots, three iRobots, four iRobots. Oh my. Five iRobots. Holy moly. What are we going to do with all those robots? I will, okay, maybe I, maybe, okay, let's, okay, I want to see what kind of, like, stuff is, it. okay, this has some virtual rollers, I really like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's open it. Let's see. You ready to open it? Yeah. 
All right, let's do it. Okay. And this can be for you can like you can keep this one. Oh, I can. Yeah, and well, I have your old one. <laughs> Why don't you I keep this? Yeah, I was gonna I'll say. Keep it. There you go. Oh yeah. First, my my second. Um. Okay, here's a plug. Here's a charger here. Wow, look how fresh and new it is. Brand new. Just for you. Okay. Is it a filter? Yeah, it's a filter. And here's the charger. Ha! <laughs> let's get started opening this. Alright, let's do it. <laughs> and it already has a filter in. Oh, good. And the guy was like, buying a vacuum cleaner and called it Roomba Shroomba. Mm -hmm. And that guy forgot to put the filter in. And the guy looked in it and looked like, hmm? It got, it was already filtered. Oh. Okay, let's get this started somewhere. Okay, oh, let's do it. Oh, this is a good place. Right here. This is a good place to start it. Oh, that's a good, yeah, you're right. All right, you probably need to go to your charging base. It probably needs to be charged first. Oh, I think it is. Okay, we're gonna do this. Connect it to your internet. <laughs> well, we gotta get the app first. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but you know how this goes, yep. Wow. That's good. Good, bro. But it still works. Still, still goes. Do you think he's happy? Yeah. I, I kind of teared up a bit when he saw how excited <laughs> he was. It's the same noise as our old room, but. Yeah. Wait, what? I'm still. But well, it goes like the same. Oh, wow. Look at those bristles go. It's so nice that you got me a new eye robot. Oh, I'm Good glad one. you like it, hey, babe. Happy birthday. Move? Oh yes, I will move. Because I want to do some. Look, it it still does very good spot cleaning. Mhm. Mm spot cleaning. Oh, I think this model was like to show you all the moves. I think that's how it does the spot cleaning. All right, but he did get his charger set up, but it looks like it had some battery in there, so he's gonna play with it for a little bit first. And I already had my healthy breakfast, which is that like bagel egg thing I've showed before. So right now I'm gonna have a slice of cake because you guys, this cake turned out so good. Oh my goodness, it's delicious. And we had a good amount left over too, so yum, yum, yum. Let's see how it works. Okay. So this is the Wonder Ball he got. No, it's a Wonder Wonder Sphere. You go like this. Whoa. Wow. Oh, 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 I need help getting it. Oh. Oh. That's how you turn it off. Let's okay. play together. Wild. Can someone play with me? Yeah, let's do it. Here. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Oh, now you've got the hang of it. Oh, you almost. <laughs> How about back to me? I know. All right, here we go. Ready? Yeah. Oh, you are my question. Oh, that's good. <laughs> that's a very good one. <laughs> In case you were wondering, we gave him. Every option to go do something fun today. Oh, nothing. <laughs> this is what he wants. He is a homebody. Well, I think let's move all those new presents. So yeah. To the extent we actually just door dash dinner. We got dinner coming. Something he really likes. Yes. But yeah, we're just staying home all day. Yeah. All day. <laughs> Not gonna lie, we may have gone a little sir crazy, but hey, you know, it's his special day. This is what he wanted to do, so we're gonna do it. Yeah, but yeah, he did tell us earlier that he wanted to go swimming, so we were thinking, okay, that'd be cool. No, he changed his mind. He just wanted to stay home, so. You know what? I'll bet Skylar's glad we stayed home today, too. I guess we should have vlogged this. One of the things we did do, we did this uh, National Geographic build your own volcano that he received. Um, we put the uh, plaster in the mold and it turned out pretty good. It does have to uh, sit, so it had to sit in the mold for like 45 minutes and then you turned it out. And now it says we have to let it sit for like 
a day or two before we can paint it and actually start using it. But yeah, we did that. All right, so we're doing one of these, what's this called? Twist Pop Celebrate. Okay, we used one of them yesterday for the, like the one we were singing Happy Straight Birthday. Up, uh, I didn't know you were gonna do it though, so I wasn't angled properly. Yeah, so we have I one more. I Caleb knew I was gonna do it either, because I'm surprised <laughs> what happened. Are you ready? Yeah. You ready for this, man? Down for me? Yeah. Three, two, one. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> Look, it scared birds away. <laughs> and that pretty much wraps up Caleb's birthday weekend. As you saw, it, we, we had a lot of fun getting, to, you know, the stress of putting everything together at the end of the day, like when you can look back on it, those are the moments you really live for. The moments you remember and you appreciate. We had a lot of fun going that extra mile to make our little guy's day just extra special and he absolutely loved it. I asked him this morning as we were walking up to the gate when we were going up to school how his weekend was and he he just, you guys, he had a blast. He really did. He was already looking forward to next weekend and I was like, well, pump the brakes, bud. It's only Monday, but I mean, it, it was a lot of fun. He already has designs as to what next year's party is gonna be and what he wants to do. It sounds like he doesn't wanna do the water slide, believe it or not. He's actually looking to get one of those, like that trucks that come to your house and that like, you go inside and they have all these like video games and stuff. That's what I think he's eyeing for for next year, but we'll see. Well, we hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And from our magic family to yours, enjoy. Yeah.